hey, come on in. Just sitting down looking over some ASFAB information. As I look at it, look back and really begin to think about where I am today, uh, that day that I sat down and I took the ASFAB assessment was probably one of the best decisions that I made because I learned so much about me. People make decisions and really don't know who they are. You know, the unfortunate thing is that people really have a misperception of what the ASFAB is really about. Uh, they think that taking an assessment that provides them with 45 scores lines them up to go into the military, and that is so far from the truth. The ASFAB assessment really is designed to show you your strengths and your weaknesses. You want to know that type of information. I needed to look at something that worked up with my strength. What's my strength? Doing what I'm doing right now. Talking, communicating. So when I sat down and took the ASFAB assessment, guess what? It showed me that I had strong aptitude in communication. I had weak aptitude in science, as I already knew, and my math was okay. Well, so how does this really begin to help people today? As you sit down and take the ASFAB assessment, you're gonna take eight individually timed tests. And each one of those tests, one in science, two in math, two in English, one in electronics, one in mechanics, one in engineering, and now they've added one that has you putting parts together. It shows you, here's what I have the potential to do. The ASFAB assessment is a three-part assessment. Number one, you sit down and you take a test. That test, individually timed, in the areas that I've mentioned. The second thing, which most people really don't know, is that you complete an interest inventory. As 90 activities, those activities are going to show you, here are the things that I like, here's the things that I'm unsure about. Now, the third part of the ASFAB Career Expression Program, you put that together with your interest inventory. You want to marry your interest with your skills, and what you find out is now you have some careers of choice that you're going to have the opportunity to pursue. I hear moms and dads all the time saying, don't take the ASVAB, the recruiter is gonna call you. If you never take the ASVAB, a recruiter is still going to call you. It is mandated by federal law that school districts provide military organizations with students that are in the 11th, 12th, and 10th grade with name, address, and phone number. We always want to operate from a position of knowledge. I want to make some money. I want to make it rain. Taking this three-hour assessment that you're going to get information that will be informative and useful for a lifetime. But the ASVAB assessment, you don't have to pay a dime. Answer the questions to the best of your ability, and within seven to 10 days, you're gonna receive a score sheet with 45 scores when the assessment is going to be administered at my school. Go ask your counselor. Your counselor will have that information. Do something positive for yourself. There's no substitute for excellence.